All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I'm sorry that I use a headset with a microphone. Um, my uh, microphone without headset uh, broke down. So this is for me the only way to record, but it's what it is. Don't we all love an amazing love story? Isn't it? Get something to eat, get something to drink and get ready. I'm going to tell you guys in this video how I met my beautiful, amazing Filipina. Here comes the video. All right, guys. How did I met my beautiful Filipina? Uh, on the picture here on the right, that's here. You see me and my beautiful Filipina. Uh, not in the face, but on the back. Uh, probably in the future, you will see her face. And my face you already see. The old guy from the Netherlands. Um, how did I meet my Filipina? Well, a buddy of mine talked to me and he said, you need to go to uh, a dating site. There are a lot of beautiful women from the Philippines. And I was like, my God, do you know where the Philippines is, man? It's on the other side of the world. Well, why would I go for a Filipina? So I didn't go. I didn't check. And later he came again and he said, man, did you already check? I said, no. And he said, you really need to check, man. He made me curious, so I thought, you know what, why not, who cares. Um, I did some checking online about Philippines and Filipinas, and that Filipinas were a very special woman, beautiful woman, of course. So I got curious, and I decided to check that uh, dating site. And at first, I talked to some a woman. I introduced myself, posted a picture, and said who I am, my age, where I'm from, that kind of stuff. And I talked to a couple of women from the Philippines. It didn't go as planned. They asked for uh, a phone because they didn't have a phone with camera. Or they told me that one of their family members was in hospital and they needed money. Uh, later I'm going to make a video about uh, what I think about that because trust me not all, of Fili all Filipinas are like that and in every country you have women and guys that don't look for real love but that's a different story different video but at a certain moment I thought you know what I'm done with this so I posted one more time and I said I'm going to leave this dating site because you woman you don't look you don't want real love you're just looking for phones and money. I'm done with it. Waste of time. And then something happened. There was a woman that put a post under my post. And she said, why are you posting this? Just leave. We don't need to know your opinion. Just leave. If you don't like it, go. And I said, I will. I will go. A few minutes later, I got a private message. And it was the same woman. That was like teasing me, bullying me uh, on, the, on the side. Like, go, leave. If you don't trust Filipinas, go, leave. What are you doing here? And she sent me a private message and she said, listen. Don't forget that not all Filipinas are like that. Most Filipinas are really looking for real love. They don't care about money or phones. And... Somehow I was intrigued by her message and we started chatting. And we chatted around three, four months, only chatting. No video call, nothing, just chatting. And we got to know each other. In the meantime, I talked to some other woman, uh, but I don't know. Somehow she kept pulling me. You know what I mean? There was a, a special feeling with her, even though I had never seen her. I've seen some pictures, of course, just normal pictures of her face, how she looked. Um, before, on the dating side, mostly it were young girls, and I'm 48 years old. I'm not looking for young girls. I'm not interested in having more daughters. I already have daughters, and this Filipino was one year younger than me. Only one year, so it was a woman and not a girl. And we chatted about life. We talked about everything. We talked about the weather. We talked about the Philippines. We talked about my country. We talked about my life. We talked about her life. 
and it became really a, a good friendship. There was not love involved yet, it was friendship. But from my side, I felt a connection. I don't know if you guys ever felt uh, like a connection like it's your soulmate. In the time that we were chatting and I got the feeling that something was wrong with her and I chat her and I ask what's wrong and then she told what was wrong and I felt it. I felt it that she was sad and that, that's what I call a connection, a soul connection. And after four months of chatting, we had our first video call. It was very special. We also talked for a while on video call. And after that, I decided, or we decided, that it was more than just a friendship. It was love. It was a connection. Um, it felt like she was my soulmate, and she felt the same. So from that moment on, um, we became a couple. We saw we 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 went video chatting or video calling for hours a day, hours and hours, and we we never talked about money. We never talked about sex or nudity or whatever. We had good conversations. We talked about how I feel, how she feels, what she thinks about the future about her past, about my past, and we had good conversations. And after a while, I've decided, you know what? I'm going to save money and I'm going to go to the Philippines because I want to see you. And she has four children, two older boys, two girls, and I love those children. I love those children like they're mine. So, not last December, but the year before, I decided I go to the Philippines. I saved enough money and I booked a flight and I went to the Philippines and I went there for one month. And it was the best month of my life. I saw a lot of things in the Philippines that I'm going to talk about later. Uh, we went to wet market, we went with a tricycle, we... we we did all the things that a Filipino does because in another video I'm going to explain you guys that I'm not I'm not planning on living a foreigner life in the Philippines. I want to live a Filipino life. I love the Filipino way. Um, I don't need a big house with a swimming pool, uh, a, an expensive car and all the expensive shit that's, that's not important to me and to her. Uh, being together Having a loving family, have food on the table, that kind of stuff is the most important. Of course, I'm a foreigner and I'm planning other stuff. I want a good life, especially for her and the children. They deserve it, not even for me. I just want a peaceful life, but I want to give them a better life. They deserve it. The, she is such a good woman with such a big heart and loving, caring like most Filipinas are very loving, caring. So that's why I said there will be another video about that you think that Filipinas always try to get your money. Well, trust me, that's not true. It's absolutely not true. Of course, there are bad Filipinos, Filipinas, but you have bad women and bad guys in every country. And there are a lot of foreigners that also use Filipinas. But that's for an, an, another video. This video is all about how we met, and this is the, the love story. This is what happened between me and my beautiful Filipina. And when I say beautiful, I don't only mean her face, how she looks. For me, the most important thing is that she and her children are beautiful inside. They have a big heart, they are very loving and caring, and they are special. And like I said in my previous video, Philippine people are special. They got a special place in my heart. And when I go to the Philippines and I'm going to live there for good, I also want to do uh, stuff for the Filipino community. Um, that's something that I feel that I need to do. But yeah, this was my love story, guys. Uh, I hope if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, 
subscribe to my channel it's for free and follow the rest of the story what's gonna happen uh, there are gonna be a lot of videos about my opinion about things uh, my plans uh, I'm gonna tell about what happened when I was in the Philippines all that kinds of stuff uh, so I really really hope to see you in another video guys like I said did you not subscribe it's for free do you like my video even the webcam is annoying if you like my videos don't forget to do a thumbs up please share my videos so other people will also see my videos and hopefully see you in the next video god bless you all